Hello everyone, Randy here, and we're back to working on the old Honda four-wheel project here again. Yes, I know folks, another video on this again here. Uh, if you folks are getting sick of watching videos on them, well trust me, I'm getting sick of making videos on this because we still have not got it uh, fixed yet. I uh, just went through and kind of did the whole engine diagnostic thing, you know, check the timing, uh, check the carburetor adjustments, all that good stuff. Absolutely no change in the way it runs at all. Still runs nice and smooth. Well, it runs okay at idle. Let's put it that way. It runs okay idling, but as soon as you throttle up, it just backfires and bangs and misses and no power whatsoever. So anyway, moving on to the electrical part here. Um, I didn't videotape any of the, the, you know, adjusting the valves or checking the timing there or checking the uh, carburetor. I didn't do any of that. Uh, I think if you go back in the videos, you can probably actually see that all being done anyway. So onto the electrical here, and I know I didn't do a video on this, even though I have done it once before, although I didn't go through every single step here. Uh, we're going to try to go through everything here. So first step is the charging test. Unfortunately, not much we can do with that one because the motor, well, I mean, it runs, but it doesn't run very well at speed. So there's no way I can check the charging here. Uh, you're supposed to be able to, uh, yeah, gradually increase engine speed and check the voltage at various engine speeds. I can't, I can't do that because they, you throttle it up and it backfires and it misses and that's probably not going to give a very good reading. So we're, we're going to skip that one, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, we're on to... Uh, voltage regulator. I'm actually going to skip that one for right at the moment. I actually just did this test here before I started recording, which is the reason I'm recording, so you folks could see that one. Um, I went on to the alternator here. Uh, let's see, was the alternator? Yes, alternator was next, I believe. So exciter coil, uh, check that. For that, we need to disconnect the black and red and the green and white and check the ohms resistance between those two. Should be between 100 and 300. So, um, I got a black and red one. I don't have a green and white one, but there's a green one here with white tabs on it. So I'm assuming that's it. So let's uh, let me adjust the camera here. Zooming in on the wires here. Okay. So like I said, I got a black and red, which is that one there. And then I have this green one here, which has white markers on it. Uh, that's the only, there's a green and red one, but that's it. So I'm assuming it's this one here. And the tester here, we're going to set it to ohms. Set to auto, that should be good. <laughs> million, we don't quite need it that high. Okay, so let me put this on here. And we got a reading of 191 ohms. So it's supposed to be between 100 and 300. It's at 191. That meets specs. Let's connect that back up then. Next, uh, the charging coil resistance. Uh, disconnect the, the yellow electrical connectors. And there's two of those. Uh, these are coming from the alternator here. So alternator end. The other two there go to the voltage regulator. Okay, and again, I might not be able to show you the screen here because I got to hold both of these. So resistance is supposed to be between 0.1 and 1. And we're at point, well it was 0.5, now it's 0.4. We're at 0.4, so within tolerance, according to the book here. Next, check the uh, resistance between each yellow wire and ground. So we'll check ground here. And I'm just gonna connect to the battery probably. The uh, ground connection is right actually back behind behind there and I have actually checked the uh, ground connection already by the way uh, ground connection between the battery and the frame uh, seems to be perfect according to Ohm's test anyway a resistance test there is no resistance between the battery's ground and the frames ground so that to me seems like good okay let's check that Make sure we got a good ground connection here yep okay so there should be no resistance between 
Right, no resistance. Yeah, there should be no continuity, so. Okay, and I do have continuity, but that's nine million ohms of resistance. That's quite high. Same on that one. But well, we're supposed to set it to just ohms. So let's set it to actually ohms here. Okay, so yeah, if we have it set to the test we're supposed to, we got nothing. And again, you got nothing. If we set it to auto, though, where it goes really high to a million ohms, then we do have resistance. So I think that's good, at least according to what the book is saying. And we'll just leave those disconnected here because that'll be the next one here. We'll go to the uh, voltage regulator. Which is actually back a page. Uh, CDI box. I'm on. There we go. Nope. Uh, CDI box here. There's really no test for that. According to the book here, swap and replace. That's really the only test you can do with that. And let's see, anything else? I think that's about it actually. Uh, ignition coil, we could test that. But again, we tried a new ignition coil, no difference there. So I don't think we need to bother with that one. So we're gonna go on to, or back to maybe I should say, to the voltage regulator. So uh, disconnect the electrical connectors, two yellows. A green one, a red one, and a black one. So that's these five right here. I already got the yellows disconnected. We'll disconnect the green, the black, and the red. And again, double check that. Those are, yes, the ones that go to the voltage regulator. There's another connector, connection here that goes to the light back there. And test. Yep, must know what you're doing. Not a problem there, right? Uh, make measurements using a good quality tester using table one for specified resistant values. So we'll add a table one here that's on the back of chapter eight. So here we go, uh, table one. And I'll actually just get it. So that is what we're gonna go through here. So again, positive will be on yellow and then we'll check to yellow, check to green, red, and that's supposed to be what the values are supposed to be. So, I've already done this once, and it's, uh, let's say the tests are interesting. So we'll just pick a yellow one here. Uh, there's no difference, they're both yellow. Actually, you know what, we're supposed to be, we'll make that the positive one, just so it's actually doing it the right way here. So positive on a yellow. So yellow to yellow. There is supposed to be no resistance and there is no resistance. Yellow to green. There is supposed to be one to 20. We got nothing, absolutely nothing. Yellow to red, supposed to be infinity. And we got nothing, so that's a good sign. Although it did fail. Again, it failed the green there. And then yellow to black is supposed to be 1 to 50. Again, we got nothing, so it failed that one. And then we got to switch to the other yellow here. Okay, so we're doing it again, yellow to yellow. Again, nothing, supposed to be nothing. Green to yellow. Green, it's supposed to be one to 20. Again, failed that one. We have no resistance. Or infinite resistance, I should say. That'd be the correct way to say it. And then yellow to red. It's supposed to be, again, infinite resistance. We do have no resistance, so it passes that one. And then to black. Yellow to black is supposed to be, again, 1 to 50, and again, we got nothing, so it fails that one. 
green. I'll switch it on to the green one here. So green to yellow, to both yellows, they're supposed to, both supposed to be no resistance, no resistance. Again, no resistance. So those both passed. Now green to red. Green to red is supposed to be no resistance as well, or infinite. Let's get it right here. It's supposed to be infinite, so it is good. Green to black is supposed to be 0.2 to 10. It's got nothing. So it uh, fails that one. Okay, that's all the green. Let's switch to the red. Double check here, make sure we are making a good connection. There we are. Okay, so red to yellow. It's supposed to be 1 to 20 and 1 to 20 on both of them. We got nothing. And the other yellow one, also nothing. So failed both of those. Red to green, supposed to be 3 to 100. Again, nothing, so failed that one. Red to black, supposed to be 3 to 10. Again, failed that one, so complete failure there on the red line. Now, black. Black one, this is the last set here. Basically going through and checking each color to each one of the other colors. And again, that's, what's that, like 20 different tests there? So, black to yellow, infinity. It is, and it is. Black to green is supposed to be 0 0.2 to 20. It is not, it is also infinity. And black to red, supposed to be infinity. And it is. So that would pass. So yeah, folks, it looks like an awful lot of failures there on the voltage regulator. Again, I'm not necessarily going to say it's bad at this point because it seems like an awful lot of failed tests. But it seems like a good spot to start. So I think we're probably going to be replacing the voltage regulator here. So I'll have to do some searching, see what I can find for one of those. And yeah, I think that'll uh, do it for the video. Hope you folks enjoyed the, the video here. If you have any comments or questions about this, uh, be sure to leave them below. And yes, probably expect a voltage regulator replacement video here as soon as I can find one and get time to install it. So anyway, like I said, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.